Hey guys, in today's video, I'll be showing you the new Bloxford Sharkman Karate fighting style. As you can see, this is the Sharkman Karate, and this is one of the first moves. It looks like a barrage of slaps, and it looks like it deals pretty good amount of damage. And it also has very far range. And this is the second move, and it looks pretty good for grinding, and you could probably make good use of this. Stay until the end, because I'm going to explain the damage and other details of each move. And this is the last move, it holds the enemy and stuns them, so that's really, really useful for PvP. And aside from fruits, swords, and guns, this is the best way to deal damage in block suits. So it's really, really OP. And yeah, it's really good for grinding, especially with Buddha. Right now, we don't know the source or the price of Sharkman Karate, so Sharkman Karate is hard to obtain. But it's Bacon, he's gonna show us the price and the source. And I think it's very costly, so Bacon will need some time to think of the price and the source. So, time's up! And oh my god! Look at that! 2.5 million belly and 5,000 fragments. That's way too much. Now we have to find the teacher, so let's look for it. But it seems you need to learn water control. But you could watch my video about Water Kung Fu or all fighting styles. You could click on the top right corner and you'll get it. Anyways, we'll need to find the Dane Rock the Shark Man, um, which is right here. He looks pretty dripped out. And he's going to be in this little house. You see that little red house? Um, but you need the water key and you'll have to give the water key to him by defeating the boss at Forgotten Island. Now that we've learned Sharkman Karate, one of the things that we learned is the moveset. So after we get, um, grinding zero mastery with the M1s, and the M1s are really good for combos and dealing damage, as well as grinding. Don't leave yet, because I'm gonna tell some very important factors about Sharkman Karate, so watch till the end. It may be boring, but it's definitely worth it. Sharkman Karate also has a moveset which is OP, 12 water palms, 100 mastery, and deals about 4.1k damage. And it also has a big hitbox, short cooldown, and great mobility, and pretty decent knockback. It also covers a great distance, which is almost at Death Steps Z move, which I have a video on. You could go see it in the description below. Our second move is Pressure Vortex 200 mastery which deals fairly the same amount of damage as 12 water pumps. It can also break instinct, and it has a big hitbox, and pretty good range, and very good knockback. And this is our third move, Great Sea Spear, 300 mastery, and 4,407 damage. And it has a quick start at or end for combos. And it could also break instinct, and it could uh, grab multiple targets at once. And it has pretty high knockback. Now it's time for the pros and cons of Sharkman Karate. So, um, it has pretty high damage and pretty high combo potential. Some moves are quick and hard to punish, and they're easy to hit, hard to escape, and very fast M1s. And also, all moves can damage the Sea Beasts. And it's a really good way to start grinding. And it's hard to hit a moving opponent, so it might require some prediction. And it's really expensive in the second C. And it has ton of knockback, so it's not that good for grinding. Now, we have completed Dragon Breath, Death Step, and finally, right now in this video, we've completed the Sharkman Karate right here. And soon we'll be completing the whole second C, and soon to the third C. And I'll also be doing my last second C fight style video soon. Superhuman, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, drop a comment below, and hit the notification bells, and keep it on notified to never miss any of my videos.